Good afternoon, Madroons. We're here with another edition of Five Minute Edition, where Zane and I are going to talk about the Bollywood bog of ultraviolence, the Vlad Imperial Stout, named after Vlad Tepish, the root of the Dracula myth. It's our Imperial Stout. I'm going to take this off because it is hurting my head. It's a very small bowler for a very big head. Well, you know, I got a lot, of, a lot in there. A lot going on up there. <laughs> a lot in there, man. A lot. So I think uh, when when Royal Docks comes up, this is probably one of the most talked about beers. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. definitely a, probably our most popular. It's certainly not like our biggest seller, but people know us for it. It's definitely um, our biggest. 13.1%. Oh, it's definitely 13.1% in de- indeed. Um, we actually launched this beer before it was legal to do beers over 12% in Ohio. We got fined a thousand dollars for it, but you know, civil disobedience in the Russian tradition of Tolstoy and Dostoevsky, Slancha, as the Russians say, Slancha. <laughs> what do they say? Nostroya. Yeah. Nostroya. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They they sound angry no matter what they say. Anyway, Vlad is. The only beer that we do uh, that is not yet in a printed can is because we've taken to brewing it six to ten months before we actually label it. So the beer that is out there is already ten months old and it's because it's actually better. Uh, Given a little bit of of time, uh, a little long in the tooth, mellows it out uh, because it's 13.1%. It's a big beer. Uh, it takes a, a nice little uh, kind of aging in the uh, can when we sock it away back in the cold room there. Uh, kind of does uh, get to bring all the flavors together nicely. <clears throat> it pours with a uh, wonderful kind of, uh, you know, amber brownish head on there, which does hang out for a long time on it. You get a really nice lacing off of it. Um, definitely one of my favorite beers. Uh, not one of those ones you can drink uh, all afternoon long or you will be one with the floor. Um it's 13.1%. It is loaded with uh, black uh, black Prince malt, uh, caramel 120. Brown Supreme. A, a malt I love <clears throat> from uh, Netherlands called Brown Supreme. Incredibly caramely. Uh, it is adorned with probably our uh, most offensive label. We get a lot of emails <laughs> about this label being so violent. But really, it's from a 15th century woodcut that uh, uh, talked about the violence that Vlad Tepish was perpetrating on the Ottomans and Turks. Which was to protect his own people. It was. And mm-hmm. uh, Vlad Tepish is, is a complete, uh, what do you call it, war hero? Not mm-hmm. war hero, but folk hero. Folk hero. Also mm-hmm. a war hero, I yes. guess. Sure. Among the Romanian people. Uh, 2016, 17, John and I had the opportunity to go to mm-hmm. Romania... We went to uh, a, the Castle Brand, which is most closely associated with Vlad Tepish. It's actually um, in the hills above Brasov, Romania, where John was actually born. Um, we got to go into the into the uh, the castle, and we actually brought some Vlad with us in growlers. And imagine if you're an American going to Mount Vernon. And walking in with a growler of beer, sitting down in his living in George Washington's living room, and cracking this beer and drinking it. Well, we were able to do that at Castle Brand. We have pictures of us having a stout in the middle of a tour. It was a lot of fun. It was really cool to be there with uh, our beer in hand, drinking a toast to its uh, namesake. But um, I don't know. What else can we say about it? It's actually wonderful, deep, rich. I mean, you you just, this is, and it's a lot smoother than it looks for being 13.1%. And for as uh, just rich, dark, deep as it is. It doesn't drink that hot. Right. No, it doesn't drink hot at all. You don't get any alcohol burn off of this. Uh, I mean, you're physically, you're going to uh, definitely feel it. But uh, on your palate, it's not like taking a shot or anything like that. As far as the 13.1% beer, it is wildly smooth. Anyway, let's drink these two, and uh, I know it's only it's almost noon, but we should probably call it a day. I think uh, cheers to a day. Let's launch it.